so the source of a lot of problems, and I'm sure you know this in your own experience and in your clinical experience, is undigested and unacknowledged emotional pain. And when there is emotional pain that hasn't been uh, uh, brought into the light of conscious awareness, it's underground, you're afraid of it, you push it away, you ignore it, that feeds all kinds of problems. Um, compulsive behaviors, addictions, relationship problems, seeking, thinking you don't have, sense of lack, any problem pretty much that you can think of, any psychological type of problem that someone has, it stems from this undigested and cut off emotional pain because in that is the root of separation. If something is cut off, we feel fragmented, we think we're not whole, we think we're damaged, we think we're broken, and, um, and that creates our reality. And then um, what the beautiful offering is of this um, bringing this non-dual space into the therapy encounter, it allows us to, um, to bring this wholeness uh, back, to, to help people, to guide them to return to their natural wholeness. Because that is who they are. No one is broken. That's a, that's a misidentification. It's a, it's a fabrication of the mind that we're damaged. We are not damaged. We have ideas that make us think we're damaged. We can believe in stories that tell us that we're damaged. But, but that is all of the mind. That is not of reality. That's, that's um, scary stories created by the mind. That's all that is. Who we are at the essence is pure openness, receptivity, and, um, and the aliveness of life itself. So, um, what I um, actually, this is an opinion of mine, and I see it from experience, is that really any therapy that we do that we might call successful, where somebody starts to feel better, they're not feeling better because they've improved their sense of their separate self. We don't become anything. There's no becoming, because we already are who we are. It's more like a shedding, so there's a realization that this is who we are. So it's a process of shedding, it's a process of subtraction, rather than adding anything or finding something new. There's nothing new. The only thing that new that happens is the realization of who we've always been anyway, and the conscious realization of that. We are always who we've been, whether you know it or not, but in the conscious realization of that is where the freedom comes and the capability of living that full wholeness in your everyday life. So there's that beautiful intersection there. So um, my sense is that whatever kind of therapy someone has where it's successful, and successful means they're making better choices in their lives, and they're um, feeling more whole, and they're not so um, rea emotionally reactive, um, whether it's psychodynamic psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral, whatever it is, any of the mindfulness-based therapies, it's still Really, if you look at it very carefully, you'll see it's about the knowing of your true nature. Just a little window opening where the conditioned ideas of oneself have fallen away and new opportunities come to light. So say a client comes in and says to you um, that they, they're, they're very happy because they had a new kind of interaction with somebody they've had a troubled relationship with, or they go out and they try a new behavior, what happened in that moment when they were doing that new behavior is a shedding of the, um, of the uh, conditioning that's contracting. And in that moment, that's opened up and, and the, the infinite possibility of consciousness has come into play. And a new idea comes to mind like, oh, I could try this rather than that. Oh, I can be silent rather than create an argument. It's a new, uh, fresh, opportunity that arises when there's that opening into universal being.